rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated, as Pepe Angry Game Chaser Historian is back. Now you're wondering where I have been for the last few months. Well, the answer is I have a girlfriend now and there are no time for games for the bait man anymore. Yep, her name is Emma and I am very happy with her. We are planning on going to Greece very soon for a romantic getaway. I am very much looking forward to. Yeah right. You think I have time for girls? Hell no. Why have girls when I have an extensive library of games in my house? Nah, I've been spending my time making over my games room. And so far, it's looking pretty badass. Anyway, I found myself some time to go to a car boot and look for some games. Oh fucking hell, the car boots are just total fucking shit nowadays. Just nothing but trash FIFA and Wii games. Oh god what a fucking wasted trip. Hey mate, how much for your Wii Fit? 20 quid pal. Are you on fucking drugs? Did you get that ridiculous price on eBay? You are taking the piss. I can get two Wii consoles for that price in this car boot alone. I'm sorry pal, but that is going to stay there for a long ass time. Bye for now, fool. I totally thought this car boot was a washout. But just as I was about to give up all hope, I see a Game Boy with a few games there, including the Castlevania Adventures. I knew I had to get that bundle. Hello love, how much is the Game Boy and the games please? That will be five pounds. Fantastic. I will just fetch my money from my pocket now. How much for the Game Boy? Dude, what the fuck? I'm in the middle of buying this thing. Whatever he's paying, I will pay double. Who the fuck was this cunt? Step away from the game's motherfucker. That Game Boy bundle is mine. I called it first. Just because caught your ass slipping, you specky idol I am looking cunt. Stop swearing at me. Stop swearing at me. Fuck off fuck off fuck off fuck off fuck off fuck off. I am Pat the Angry Game Chaser Historian. You total asshole. I am the king of games. Get the fuck out of my sight you silly peasant. I was starting to lose control. This short ass was really getting on my tits, but I had to retain myself, and get that Game Boy bundle by any means necessary. Look, how about this for an offer? I will give you five pounds, and sensible soccer for the Amiga signed by Paulins. That is a fair deal. No don't take it. Paulins is a registered sex offender. That is a slanderous comment you piece of fucking shit. Paulins is a good man with good morals. How dare you lie about the governor you absolute gooch. Stop swearing at me. Look, I will pay 20 pounds for the console. It's not worth 20 quid, you stupid fucking twat. I will pay you 5 pounds, give you sensible soccer signed by Paulins, and I will munch your lady out. Do we have a deal? Don't offer her sexual pleasure. That is disgusting. I think for those sordid comments, you should let me buy the Game Boy. Enough. You two absolute nerds are doing my head in. This man asked me first, so he gets the Game Boy. And you know what, take it. Just don't go anywhere near my fanny. All I wanted was to go to India for Christ's sake. Well, the Pat Man wins once again. Whoever that bloke was, he was no competition for a pro like me. The games included in the bundle were the Castlevania Adventure, Tetris, Super Mario Land 2, Hook and Superstars. Not a bad bundle, and completely free too. Well I hope you enjoy your Game Boy mate. You have no idea how long I've been looking for one, so I could rekindle my feelings when Arsenal were actually a half decent team. You ruined that, so thanks a bunch. I have a saying, when it comes to games, fuck your feelings. So long loser.
I am going home and I am going to keep my Game Boy on the shelf and never play it, because I own at least five of them anyway ha 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 ha. Why you no good git. You will get your comeuppance one day, and that will be a great day for sure. Yeah? Probably. But at least I'll still have this Game Boy. So suck my balls bitch. In the words of the late Robbie Williams's best mate, Toodaloo, you bell end. Now this one dedicated to all the black money men of the world who don't proud to be black. Because black people in this world we should be proud to be black. And I'm gonna tell you why. Hey, hey. Anything me say, wanna say? Proud to be black. Anything me say, wanna say? Proud to be black. Anything me say, wanna say? Proud to be black. Anything